everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're gonna make German kraut dogs and we're gonna top it with my favorite sauerkraut topping that has sauerkraut, caramelized onions, and some seasonings in there. And I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. I'm just gonna go over the very few ingredients to start off our kraut. Now when we have hot dogs, and these are gonna be like German style kraut dogs, um, I like to enhance my sauerkraut. Sure, you can just plop it on the dog um, without doing anything to it, but the sauerkraut is so much better if you take a few minutes to go ahead and saute it. So we're gonna use some butter, which I'll get out in a minute, but we're gonna use one medium-sized onion, and we're gonna use about half of the amount of sauerkraut that you see here, and we're gonna season it up. So in my little container here, I have a half a teaspoon each of dry thyme and celery seed, along with a teaspoon of my house seasoning, which is a blend of salt, cracked black pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. You can use whatever you like, um, but, some people like to use caraway seeds in sauerkraut. I do not, the caraway seed is not one of my favorite flavors, and I don't think Rick enjoys it that much either. Celery seed is definitely a favorite of mine, and that's why I go ahead and I use it in my sauerkraut mixture. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start. We're gonna bring over the induction burner and we'll get busy making our kraut and make ourselves delicious German style kraut. All right, I went ahead and I melted about two tablespoons of butter in my pan, and it's currently at 350 degrees, so that's like a medium high heat. I'm gonna go ahead and I like to cook my onions down until they are slightly caramelized. So that's what I recommend you do. And the reason that I do that is because it they makes them nice and sweet and it gives them a delicious flavor. And when you mix that in with the slightly sour kraut, then it adds a, a lot of flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna let these hang out for about five minutes and then I'll be back and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, we've let our onions go for just around five minutes or so and I like to get them to this point where some of them are caramelized really deeply and some of them are not. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add in some of our kraut. Now, you wanna make sure you don't get a lot of liquid in here. so. I like to use the tongs and pick it up and squeeze it out. You can use whatever is your favorite brand of sauerkraut. Um, I like to either get the kind that comes in a jar or the kind that comes in a bag, but not the kind that comes in a can. That's just my preference. And sauerkraut is always better when it's heated up and it's definitely better when it's sauteed with onions and butter. This is just one of those little life lessons I'm trying to help you learn. This just makes the sauerkraut so delicious and savory and when you heat it through, it takes a little bit of the edge off of it. So if you think you're not a sauerkraut lover because it's too tart, sauteing it up with a little butter and onion is gonna probably help you out unless you hate onions and then, you know, you probably don't wanna eat this. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my seasonings. Give it a good toss. And really at this point, you just wanna do this until your kraut is heated all the way through and everything is nice and warm. And then you'll be ready to top your hot dogs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pan fry up some hot dog in a different pan. I'm just gonna set this off to the side and then we'll go ahead and build a couple of German kraut dogs. And that's it. That's how you make our delicious sweet onion sauerkraut hot dog topping. And really, this isn't just a hot dog topping. This is a great side dish if you have smoked sausage or bratwurst. This can be, this will definitely stand on its own. And look. Be good on a Reuben too. It would be great on a Reuben. It would also be great on a Rachel, which is a turkey Reuben. You could do so much with this sauerkraut idea. Um, it, they're really, if you are a sauerkraut lover, you're just gonna wanna eat this by itself. I could. I promise, it's that good. So that's it, super easy, and just a few ingredients, and you have this awesome hot dog topping or side dish. You can also go ahead and slice up some smoked sausage or even some hot dogs and saute them in with the onions, and then you've got a whole meal right there. Fry up some potatoes, and that would be an awesome fall dinner, I'm telling you right mm -hmm. now, or really anytime. So that's it. I hope you give it a try. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, be sure and give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my kitchen, you wandered on over to see what was happening, welcome. Always a pleasure to have new friends join me, and be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you're a tried and true member, 
member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, be sure and hit the bell notification button so that you will get a push notification on your smart device and or an email in your mailbox letting you know every time we upload a new video because we don't want you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give this sweet onion sauerkraut hot dog topping or side dish a try sometime soon and I hope you love it and until next time, I'll see ya.